Hello, how's it going everybody? <laughs> Just getting home from work, unloading the uh, truck. Got some firewood for the wood stove, that's what you're hearing in the background over here. Uh, just got to load it up here for the evening. And I thought I'd uh, welcome all my new subscribers. I've got quite a few new subscribers. Um, so thanks for joining the channel. And I put together this little video at work today on um, the new file sharpener. I mean, the new chain sharpener that I'm using. It's uh, called the Timberline. And it's a carbide bit instead of like a file. It's pretty neat. I figured I'd put my little input in here. And I uh, just started using it. So I've only used it for probably like a day or two um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot all week and, and use just that and see what it is with a production setting I'll let you guys know how it is but I'll check back in with you later hope you hopefully you enjoy this video <laughs> I guess I want you to get a first-hand look at what this uh, <clears throat> timberline sharpener looks like in action hopefully this is a good angle uh, I I replaced the cones that it originally came with which were at 35 or 30 degrees with a uh, cone at the angle that I like. You can order them at anything, 25, 35, 30, etc., etc. Um, so you just find the angle that you like for the wood that you're cutting, the time of season that it is. Everybody's got their own personal preference. And then you set it up and your adjuster, you don't really want to touch this at all when you're sharpening because it'll really throw out your uh, adjustment out of whack. So I got it set up now. Um, it was sharpened at 30, so I'm taking quite a bit off. So I'm gonna go in a couple of times, but you just turn this carbide bit. You'll hear it, it's cutting. You'll start seeing the shavings come out the side of it. You'll go through until it taps out, and then you back it out. Never turn your carbide bit in the opposite direction, you'll ruin it. So you wanna keep going in the same direction. And I like to go in like three times go in and, and then back out just to make sure you really get that top plate cleaned up because one pass doesn't seem to do it and if you do only one pass you'll see that the top plate looks crooked or uneven <clears throat> on some of them now they suggest to pull your card but carbide bit all the way out before doing this um, because it can get stuck on the back and you'll end up cutting into your your stops but you can pull it out just enough so that you don't have to take it all the way out. This tooth is going to take quite a bit of work. Because it also had hit the dirt on top of being a different degree. But that's all there is to it. It's machined so that everything, all the guesswork and all the pain is taken out of it. And... Um, for those of you who are wondering, it is a straight zero degree slope. So there is no f no difference on five degrees, six degree, whatever, up, up or down. Um, some people like the up or down angles. So it's not going to be exactly like hand filing, but it'll clean a chain up real nice. So hopefully that'll help you guys out if you're uh, interested in getting the sharpener.